continuing with the uh, installation of the heater, the Webesto heater, um, one of the things I have is uh, the uh, where the heat comes into the interior. And I located it on this part of the pedestal. It has to go in here. That has some problems because there's not enough room for it. Uh, and this is a little bit elevated as well so what I did is I made a ring out of wood on which the base is located so I can make it stick out still have to adjust things and attach it anyway um, what I did is I first drilled a hole and then started sawing with a metal saw the edge of the circle Next step is uh, some filing, but I'll finish with uh, some uh, 80 grit uh, sandpaper that works uh, always uh, fine. Next step is uh, to paint it again, just to avoid some rust. I finished the wooden ring with some polyurethane and I'll attach it with the adapter with a couple of screws to the uh, seat pedestal. I'll put in the screws first. Nice. Just for extra security, I'll, and again it's rust as well, but I'll paint these ends of these screws so they will stay where they are. And finally the cap, and I hope that'll fit. Okay. That's it. It's time to put the pedestal back in, but before I do that, I'll give this area another cleaning. Then the next step is... And remember that I've had my pedestal turned around, so my passenger seat is facing the rear. Okay, that's uh, in here. I'll wait with the passenger seat until I'm finished with the heater, especially beneath the van. So let's get down there. I'll be installing the exhaust pipe. And the Webesto came standard with a, what is it, about two feet, probably a little bit more, a length of pipe. What I did is I bought a long piece of uh, replacement pipe or extension pipe. And that will go all the way to the rear wheel where the exhaust pipe will exit to the outside. So... Let's see whether we can put that together. So use this uh, stainless steel clamp that's included. 
to attach it to the bottom pipe, the exhaust pipe of the he heater. Now I have to attach the pipe and it has to slope slightly downwards if, if at all possible. So we'll see. So now I'm gonna attach the fuel line and this is where the fuel line has to be connected to. Uh, and we do that with this rubber piece of rubber hose on one side that they'll fit over that connection point and the other end I'll put in the uh, fuel line itself so I'll try and that's the, probably the most difficult part to push it over there and then connect it with the uh, clamp now I got it all the way onto that connector. Then we got this clamp. Okay, now the fuel line. You can see the fuel line is inside an exterior tube that I used for protection. So I have to cut that to length and then attach it to the rubber seal that I just installed. That's the outer tubing. That's one step. Okay, so I got a zip tie here. I had to drill a difficult hole, but it fits now and now I only have to turn that fuel line in there I got my wrench again hopefully this will be a little bit easier I did install a cap on the air inlet here on this side uh, but I also had still had to install uh, this tubing so that the, the heat that comes out here will go to the exhaust over there so I'll have to put that in Tighten it too much. So this end has to come over this exhaust that I just installed. Yeah, that fits well and what I already thought is about the length of this pipe you still have to check how long the minimum length has to be but right now this will move so this has to be tied down but I think that if I can shorten this a little bit it makes it a little bit sturdier this is the heat exhaust then I install the fuel line and now I'll be installing the uh, air inlet and that's a plastic pipe that has to go on the second 
attachment on the bottom of the heater. Um, there's some wires coming out of there, but I can guide them to the side. So I've done that. Uh, so now I have to attach this one. Let's see whether that works. Well, it took me three attempts, but it's fixed now. Getting the inlet filter. It comes with a attachment piece. You just press into the right hole and it fits. And luckily, I had one hole here. A little bit difficult to access, but that's probably the best place for me to attach it. Don't want to point it forward. You want to point it backwards. Come on. Okay, oh, uh. <laughs> So let's see. Yes, and it's the right size hole as well. So that fits. Okay. That's good enough. So the last thing I have to do is connect the electrical line for the fuel pump. And that goes to the heater and this comes from the pump. So I have to connect those two. This should be working. Hey, how you? It's okay. Joey, you gaat naar binnen toe, hè? Als jij niet luistert, hè? Luister naar baas. Oké. Okay. That's that one. And I let it slope slightly downwards, slightly. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.